Okay, I am doing a tarot card for the day. Today is a more in-depth look at the High Priestess card. Um, I call this the High Priestess, the Glinda, in each of us. The High Priestess is called the Spiritual Mother. This means that this is a representation of the spiritual feminine at work in our lives. She is like Glinda, the Good Witch of the North in The Wizard of Oz. The High Priestess is there to protect those that need it. She is the guide along the path and points out the paths, the potential problems, and yet allows each of us to go on the adventure that will bring color, depth, and clarity to the meaning of our lives. Just like Glinda, the High Priestess is not there to save us from our path, but to instruct us along it. The High Priestess card is there to protect us with her magic and intuition when needed, but she recognizes that growth does not come from a life without any challenges. She knows that life must have challenges in order to define what is of greatest value to us. The High Priestess card has the power to protect us from our poor choices by being that soft voice of intuition that hints at what is ahead, and she can break the spells of attachment that will cause us to fall back asleep in the poppies. This card is our intuitive wake-up call. She is grounded in this reality and is here to protect and defend the innocent. Yet she is of the air, uh, she is of the air and magic that infuses all of life with, with its wonder. She is that bridge between this reality and something that seems to call to each of us to awaken even more. When we are awake, she will ask us to be courageous enough to step onto our chosen paths so that we can discover the way back home. Just like Glinda, this card is our conscience, the part of ourselves that needs to carefully walk the fine line of goodness in a world that wants to pull us into fear. For all of this card's hopeful intentions, it is a card that is highly intelligent and understands the social order of things and allows that order to become the teacher to the student by bringing and allowing the challenges that will show us who we really are and that we have more courage than we know. This card is the reminder that all forms of magic are not controlled by the normal rules of mankind. They operate in the domains of chaos and as such, the mystical powers cannot be manipulated by the minds of man. Magical moments appear and disappear. Opportunities must be taken in the moment that they appear. This card is the reminder that magic is all around, and it is up to us to notice that magic happening. This is a card that tries to make us more aware and alert to what is transpiring in our world. It is the part of our soul that wants to know that the magic still exists and that we are not alone on our journey in this life. Thanks, everyone.